Hello guys and welcome to Python Programming Tutorials by Amuls Academy. So we were discussing about different ways to create NumPy arrays in Python. So in the previous tutorial we discussed about the array function and in this tutorial we'll discuss about arrange function. So this arrange function is nothing but array range. The NumPy arrange function returns evenly spaced numeric values within an interval stored as numpy array. So it works same as built-in range function. It will return numeric values in specified range. So let's see its syntax, parameters and few examples. Range. We'll get all the information here and this will be the syntax. Start, it is optional whatever mentioned in this square bracket it's optional so start is optional stop is compulsory step is also optional and d type equal to none that means that is also optional so here stop is compulsory rest all optional so it contains four parameters one is compulsory it returns evenly spaced values within a given interval so this syntax is similar to range function except this data type right so values are generated within the half open interval start to stop. In other words, the interval including start but excluding stop similar to built in range function. The difference is this arrange function will return an ND array. So we'll see. So here is a small note when using a non integer step such as point one, the result will be often not be consistent. It is better to use lin space for these cases. So this is another function. We'll discuss it later. For now, we'll talk about the arrange function. We'll get to know about the parameters. Start a number optional. Start of interval. The interval includes this value. The default start value is zero. So this is the optional value. So if you didn't mention the start value, it will take default value zero. Stop. It is also a number end of interval. The interval does not include this value. So similar to the built in range function, the stop is not included. It is exclusive. But in some cases like this special cases, it will include that when step is not an integer and floating point round of affect the length of out. In these cases, in some special cases, stops are included. Otherwise, it is exclusive. So next is step number. It is also optional spacing between values for any output out. This is the distance between two adjacent values. And next is D type stands for data type, the type of the output array. If D type is not given, infer the data type from the other input arguments. So we'll see that in the example. What it will returns? It will returns in the array, array of evenly spaced values. Okay, we'll get an array with evenly spaced values. All right, so there are a few examples, but we'll see our examples now. NP dot arrange. Okay, so here we'll take start and end. Okay, one to 10. I won't mention step. I won't mention the D type also only start and stop. It will print from one to nine. Okay, so 10 is exclusive. So that's why 10 is not included here. We didn't mention the step. So it take default value that is one. So here we can see the difference between values are one. Next. We won't take start. Okay. We directly take stop. I'll take floating point value now. Here we can see it will take zero as the starting value. Okay. We didn't mention start. So it will take value from zero. The default value for start. And these are one dimensional arrays, right? So next. Uh, we'll check for the step. So I'll mention 1 to 10 and step as 2. Okay. So here we can see 1, 3, 5, 7, 9. 3 minus 1, that is 2. 5 minus 3, that is 2. 7 minus 5, that is 2. The step, it is the spacing between the values. So next we'll talk about the data type. So here I'll take 20. It is a stop D type. So here, guys. Why I am mentioning D type because here we can see I mentioned stop value, but I didn't mention the step. 
okay i am mentioning the d type so here it is better to mention d type equal to so here what we want we want complex so we didn't talk about the data type till now right that's why we don't know which data types are present in this numpy library so we'll discuss about that later for now we'll stick to the basic data types int float complex so here we can see right so this is about the arrange function which is used to create an array of evenly spaced values there is no need to mention all the parameter all the time okay you can skip optional parameters but you should mention the stopping value so if you want all parameters you can mention like this 1 to 10 space is 2 and uh, d type is so uh, float okay 1.3.5.7.9 point right you can avoid this d type equal to you just can mention float also when we don't mention the parameter name it it will take values according to the positions okay so this is about the arrange functions so that's it for now guys in the next tutorial we'll talk about the other functions to create numpy arrays thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe to my channel i will meet you in next class till then take care